once you have hooked up your HDMI to your PC all you have to do is first thing you have to do is go to your settings and change the HDMI mode to 2.0 do not leave it on auto because by default the TV will set it at HDMI 1.4 making 4k 60 Hertz and HDR unavailable as an option for your PC and just to make sure that it sends uh, chroma 444 uh, from your PC um, you should name this as computer and that's it now that you have enabled HDMI 2.0 on your TV now it's time to uh, make some tweaks on Windows to make the HDR work properly with your NVIDIA card. First is you have to fire up NVIDIA control panel. If you don't have NVIDIA control panel, I have another tutorial about enabling this control panel. Under the change resolution, you should be able to see your uh, TCL TV and here you should select the native resolution and if it's not set to 60 Hertz at this point you should just select 60 Hertz and then here um, by default it will show you this setting what you need to do is keep it on H A RGB but instead of limited you go full this allows you to have the full range of 0 to 255 RGB values come out of the NVIDIA card and into the, into the television. TCL supports RGB full, so this should not pose a problem at all. For all, all other TVs, doesn't support full RGB, you should keep this to limited. But again, with TCL, you can keep this at full. And then, so once you have that applied, you can go to display settings and you should be able to turn on HDR now for most games that require HDR you have to manually turn this on and off, turn this on to see the HDR um, options in the game just like in games like Shadow of the Tomb Raider um, but for Resi the newer games like Resident Evil 3 you don't have to manually do this when you launch uh, Resident Evil 3, it knows that the system supports HDR and it will enable it for you by default. The only thing is that it doesn't happen 100% of the time. Sometimes HDR will kick in and sometimes it doesn't. So from this point forward, you should be able to play HDR. And of course, um, Windows 10 doesn't really properly support HDR yet with their desktop. So after playing HDR, um, it, it's best that you turn it off when you're um, using the normal desktop. Once you have everything set, um, you should be able to change the display and turn on HDR. As you can see, the HDR indicator appears on the top right corner of the television and um, at this point you should be able to do any HDR content and from here there are a couple one last thing that you'll have to change is to um, set the game on game mode to on this is to ensure that it, there's the least amount of post processing on on the picture um, and remove the lag and um, yeah that's it
epidemic has spread faster than any disease in modern history. Hello? Jill, are you, are you okay? Brad, is that you? What the hell is that thing? You okay? What was that thing? Came to find them. How did this all happen so fast? I don't know. 